Okay, now welcome to part two of this video. This is we're now doing number two, ten x minus. Okay, let's do it here. Number two, it says ten x. Yeah, ten x minus four true cos x minus one equals to zero. Find the general solution. Remember, this is the squares and give the general solution. Okay. In this case, let's say this is either tan x minus 4 is 0 or the other side 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0. Yeah. Therefore, this side tan x minus 4 plus 4 equals to 0 plus 4. Thanks. Therefore, tan x minus 4 plus 4 is 0 equals to 0 plus 4, 4. So we have tan x equals to 4. Let's check. So if tan a tan theta equals to a, remember, then our theta is x, our a is 4. Therefore, theta equals to that. So therefore, x equals to arc, arc tan 4 plus k times 180 degrees this is where you case the element of integers from these principles i hope you know what integers are zero uh, and let's press the calculator shift time for this is 79.96 uh, or we could just say 76 that's 180k in case the element of integers as they say in that principles k being element of those integers right uh then this part i don't have a space so let's take two cos x minus one equals to zero okay <clears throat> therefore this is two cos x Minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 plus 1. Add 1 both sides. 2 cos x. Okay. Yeah, equals to 1. Thank you. Then divide both sides by 2. Then we're left with, therefore, therefore this is cosine x equals to 1 over 2 or a half. Then now, uh, if cos theta equals to a, we have cos x equals to 1 over 2. Therefore, that principle therefore x will be equal to plus minus arc cos arc cos and over 2 what is it says plus k times 360 plus k times 360 yeah okay x equals is it right yes plus or minus then you press a calculator arc cos 1 over Sixty plus k times three sixty. Easy. 